Hey, Kyle, do you want to go see Nope? Nope. Come on, Kyle, let's go see it. Jordan Peele. I don't want to see it. Nope. But Jordan Peele is a good movie director. Nope. All right. Nope. 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 She can go see it herself. Nope. Nope. All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'll go see no. I'll go see no. Come on. All right, let's go see no. Hey, what's up? Kyle here again. I'm here with my wonderful, beautiful girlfriend Lisa here again. Mm -hmm. Star XX. Hey guys. And uh, we're here to do another more review. What are we here to review? Hey Kyle, do you want to review a nope? Nope. Kyle, didn't like it that much. No, I don't want to review it. Nope, 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 no. Kyle, it's just a movie. I don't want to review nope, nope, nope. Anyways, we're here to review Nope, and this one's written and directed by Jordan Peele. Who wrote Us and Get Out. Yeah, and um, I'm not usually a big fan of Jordan Peele's work. Um, I mean, I'm not usually a big fan of Jordan Peele, but his but his but he his work is really intelligent. His work though. is really intelligent. Like you know, like, something he has a certain talent, but I just don't see it for some reason. And it's because like you have to like be heavy into symbolism. Like this film, like she has like symbolism, like his other work. Like yeah. this one has like. Um, a lot of like symbol again, like a lot of symbolism. I was actually doing some research of this movie like before I went in, yeah, like kind of knowing what's going on. Like this one, from what I read, is not your typical horror movie, it has horror elements, like there's some yeah, horror there's some scenes horror. in it. There's not really any horror elements in it, though. I, I just I didn't mean, see it, you know, I didn't see any horror elements. Actually, there was, but not really, you know. Um, I'm sorry to be negative today in this review, but I didn't see any horror elements. Elements in this I mean, movie. In this I one, was going into this movie thinking it's going to be a horror movie, but this movie was more like it says it's more science fiction. It's more science fiction, you know. I did if it, if I was if I, I would like this movie better if I was going if it was more of a. I thought it was more when I was going into this movie. I always go into his movies thinking they're horror movies, but this, but in in this case, I thought it was going to be a horror movie, but it, it turned out to be a, an action science fiction movie. Not action technically. Well, action more action sci sci fi. I would say more sci fi. Sci fi movie, but um. But if if I, if if it was the, the, people keep saying it's a horror movie, it's a horror movie. No, it's a sci fi movie. Um. So if it was just, if, if I was notified earlier that it was a science fiction action thriller movie, then I probably would have liked the movie better, but it was... It was like more of a, it was, it had like more of a thriller like element though. Yeah, but I did like the movie for a science fiction action movie. And then, not, I would not call this a horror movie at all, not a horror movie. His movies, I mean, Get Get Out and was, was good, was okay. Us, I didn't really like. I mean, it was a horror movie. Us, that was more of horror movie, yeah, movie the element. The doppelganger thing just, was really cool, though. But I just didn't like lie. Us because the way the pasting was, and some of his pasting, his movies with the pasting is very. You have to, it builds up. You know, that's yeah. the only thing. You let know? me, yeah, uh, yeah. Let me say something about his films, guys. You have to be like very, very, very patient with his movies. Like very, very patient. Yeah. Cause like if you're not into these type of horror movies, and this one's not for you. Yeah, these type of things. I I, I like Jordan Peele. I respect him. He's a great artist, great talented mm -hmm. director. Yeah. But I just do not like uh, his. I'm not a big fan of his mo his war his films. This depends on some of his stuff. Some of the things that he does in his movies are cer certain things. Like his cinematography is great. Oh, his cinematography. His, oh, in this it, one, the cinematography, the cinematography is gorgeous. Gorgeous in this. Gorgeous cinematography, especially on the horses. Yeah. Like really, really, absolutely gorgeous. And he has some cool like effects in there but some of the plot lines and some of the pasting is not so good in his films oh but, the pacing again though you have to and this one was actually what actually with the pacing in this you have to like pay attention like you have to like really pay attention to like no, some of the characters names nope let me talk. Okay. Like you have to like pay attention to the characters' names. You have to you have to pay attention to like some of the expressions like build up. Mm -hmm. And there's a shoe in the movie. You have to pay attention to the key. <laughs> the key element you have to pay attention to is the shoe. shoe. You have to pay attention to like a ch this champion. There's a mysterious. There's a chimpanzee. Chimpanzee, which fun fact is actually based on a 
uh, it's actually based on an actual event that happened like in 2009. I can't believe about, that happened. About a chimpanzee who actually attacked like a director who actually killed the director back in 2009. And that movie, and this movie actually referenced that. But anyways, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to get to the plot line. So for those who don't know about this movie, it's about these two horse people. Like, well, they're horse trainers. Um... Pretty much, like, have their horse, like, involved in this commercial. And then, like, once, like, they try to take a picture of the horse, the horse kind of sees something, like, suspicious and kind of goes, and is, like, really, really scared. And so they try to find out what this creature is, and they try to take pictures. And they run into people who actually, and they actually run into this one horse tamer, who is, I think he's the child who, who is mm -hmm. scared in the movie. Like, they tried to, like, and they play those events of like a chim again back to the chimpanzee who actually attacks like people on the set you kind of you see the chimpanzee in beginning of the film like it comes back to the movie later later on the film but then actually they find out that there is this alien well spaceship who actually takes all the people and they try and then the people well, the main characters in the movie try to like capture it I mean, they don't want to find out what it is. They just want to, I guess, take a picture and and prove that aliens do exist in the uni in this universe. And yeah, that's all it is. Because if I if I go on more, I don't want to give any spoilers or anything or any mm -hmm. of the hidden symbolisms. If you guys like want, you guys can research this movie up. It's really yeah. I find it really really interesting. Like, don't look up the articles that go into spoiler territory, but look up, like, symbolisms behind this movie. I actually found the symbolism behind it to be really interesting. Very interesting. Like, this movie, I actually like, because, again, I like how this movie portrays into, like, actual events instead of, like, making up, a, like, a who done it or who's a killer behind the mask. It's like, no, this is actual realism. And this movie... Uh, it's 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 a it's not really like a horror horror movie. Uh, it's not really a horror movie. It's more of an alien sci-fi movie. Like you know, it kind of reminds you of that movie you said Signs, Signs which I still have seen. I, I yet to see. I think I seen bits and pieces of it, but I think I did see the whole movie at one point. It, it kind of reminded me of that movie, um, Signs mm. by Emily Shyamalan. Yep. That movie remind me of, and it kind of remind me of like you know uh, that other movie, uh, Super Eight, Chron a movie called Chronicle. Like it kind of have a, a alien spaceship movie, like you know alien sci fi movie, not a horror movie. Kind of like it's not a horror movie like like Halloween or uh, Friday Thirteenth or like you know Scream. It's not like one of those type of movies. It's an alien. It's an action sci-fi movie, you know, that's what it really is based on. It's not these horror movies, it's not a horror movie really. So. Well, technically, let me let me say that. Let me say this. It is a horror movie technically, but this is a different stylized horror movie. That's it's not what, really... It's not like your typical horror movie like he said. It's like more in the lines, I mean, it's technically a little bit of horror, but this is, but Jordan Peele... Not really. But Jordan Peele has his own sophisticated way of doing a horror style. Yeah. I mean, he's not, like, copy and pasting, like, who done it or... No. Or, like, uh, who's the killer behind the mask. No, he's not going for that. No, it's not like that. It's not... He's going for more, like, realistic horror. Like, this is, like... Like, based on, like, sightseeing that Americans believe that they saw aliens, like, years ago. Yeah. He's doing, like, more stuff, like, based on, like... His sick, more like history. Like this is yeah, like, like it's to more me, realistic. like to yeah. me though, like to me though, like, this is like kind of reminds me of like uh, people trying to prove to people like, on the news, saying like, oh, they're actual aliens like coming down in space, and then people think they're crazy, and people who don't believe them. Mm -hmm. And I actually, I, I actually like that idea of like realistic events because I remember learning about this back back in school. That a lot of people believe that aliens do exist, and then and there's some people who do believe in alien invasions, and then some people who think like aliens are intelligent people who actually want to make contact with Earth. But in this case, the alien is kind of bad in us again mm. because like you you go you regret into people who believe in like alien invasions. Oh, aliens exist! Aliens exist. I wish thought they exist. Um, again, we don't know. We don't know. We'll find out one in a one million <laughs> years from now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but um, it's getting kind of hot in here. Let's let's wrap this up because um, it's getting kind of hot in here. Yeah. But um, anything else you want to say? Well, before... no, nope. I don't think there's anything else. Anything else to say? Um, nope. 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 
So uh, let's give down to the ratings. I would give this guy a 10 out of 10 because, like, again, this movie is so sophisticated. I, I really enjoyed it. I'm into these type of films that make me think. I, some, some lack of verifications in this movie, but I just, uh, I hate to bring you guys down this one. This one, I didn't really see the light of it. Um, there were some good things, though. There were some good things, like that, at the ending, it got a little bit be better towards later on in the yeah, movie. Yeah, again, this movie, it builds up, you have to be really builds patient. Up. I, um, not a big fan of Jordan Peele. Um, but if I had to give this my my best, I would say three out of out of how we what are we doing? Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. I would say uh, if we do five out of ten, I would give it a three. And if we're doing ten out of ten, I give it six and a half. All right, six and a half, not too bad. Yeah. But uh, definitely, uh, we, 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 I definitely, I would recommend check, if you if you're into these like type of symbolism films, I would recommend it. Yeah, it's not my favorite, or maybe five and a half. I would give it. All right, fifty fifty. Five and a half, yeah, fifty fifty. It's fifty fifty for me. All right, five ten out of ten for me though, because I actually liked the symbolism behind it. It's not the best thing I've seen. I mean, I wouldn't call it the best thing I've seen either, but 10 out of 10 definitely because not scary. It definitely I can, I can see out. this film like getting awards because again, the one oh, this director... Oh, definitely get rewards. It always, Jordan Peele always gets the awards, yeah. the Oscars and the Academy Awards and everything. Yeah, because he takes it, because he's bringing like kind of back the, the horror genre in a way. And it's not really horror though. It's sophisticated. Yeah. But, um, so definitely go see Nope in, in a theater near you. Mm -hmm. Check it out. And, um... And just enjoy it. Just enjoy it if you like Jordan Peele's movies, which I'm okay with. Um, definitely go check it out and see it for yourself. Mm -hmm. And then let us know what you think of it. Definitely go see Nope. Yes. No, and nope. oh well, nope. I don't, I wouldn't. I don't think I I I don't think you should see it. But nope, nope, nope. But um, I'm just kidding. No, definitely go see Nope. Definitely see Nope. 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 Yes. Nope. 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 Nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Anyway, though, guys, hope you enjoyed this movie that we did. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing. Definitely give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Please rate subscribe. Hit my girlfriend on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. Follow her on MeWe. Subscribe to her Exit Smith Star XX on YouTube. Do so you got any more videos coming up? Um, It's a surprise. Surprise? Yep. And, and uh, thanks a lot for watching for subscribing. And I'll see you all later. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Peace. Nope. Nope. I'm not doing this. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not doing this again.